August of 1942, a man named Janusz Korczak was taken by Nazi soldiers to the Treblinka extermination camp, where millions of Jews were killed. Korczak, a well-known children's author and humanitarian, was not alone. Although he had been cleared to go free by the Nazis, Korczak refused to leave the 192 Jewish children from his orphanage. I had the privilege of interviewing him during the last hours of his life. This is the last time Johnny's Korczak was ever seen alive. Okay, first question, why did you have an orphanage for Jewish children? My family was Jewish. I was a practicing pediatrician. The uh, orphanage was originally in Poland. When the Nazis invaded, they moved it into the Warsaw Ghetto. I felt it was my duty to follow them to Germany. To do, do the children know what is about to happen to them? I told them that we were going to beautiful nature for the day. I did not want them to be frightened. You had several chances for, to leave and not be killed. Why are you staying? If I were Jewish, which I am, I would take that as the opportunity of, life, of a lifetime. These children were my family. I couldn't just leave them. I'm the only one they had. They didn't have any parents. So I went with them. What would you do? What would anyone do? You know? This is my final question. How do you think the children will feel once they figure out that they are going to a concentration camp? I knew the truth would kill them. So I wanted to give them just one more hour of happiness. I knew that I had to support and love them because they didn't have any parents. It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Korczak. And good to meet you, young man.